Girls are kidnapped and he's enjoying it. Hands were tightly bound, surrounded by a mysterious circle of men in black. Wednesday wanted something exciting at last, but when the leader in black spoke, Wednesday immediately recognized the speaker as the siren. Look at this group of high school students. Wednesdays are boring. He untangled the rope from his hand easily, straight to the stairs. Don't forget to say another word before you leave, but it was important to find the purple book. Except for little girls in the illustrations, and a mysterious pilgrim, just in time for the college to welcome the town outreach meeting. All the students will go to town, take part in voluntary activities, to unlock the pilgrim's name, Wednesday, to a place called Pilgrim's World, period. He met a young handsome man who was staring at a white wall, since little handsome was also in the man in black last night. He showed him the illustrations in the book. We learned that the pilgrim's name was Clustone, and the founder of Pilgrim World. Then on Wednesday, saw a classmate with glasses, little fat. I thought of my brother who was often bullied. He stretched out his leg and tripped the boy easily, and this kid's a little weak. The punches are soft and easy to dodge. The girl grabbed his hand and sent him to the guillotine with ease. The other two students saw it and left. I got a little extra help when I saved fat. Break into a locked house by yourself. Chubby stays here to keep an eye out. Inside is a statue of Clestone. A huge picture hangs on the wall next to it. The year is 1625, the scene of a gathering of pilgrims. Wednesday was doubly surprised. The girl I saw in my fantasy, it was in there. He held the thick black book in his hand and then he was in the glass cabinet next to it, found the black book. It's called the Amber Code or the Book of Shadows. He opened it quickly, but there wasn't a word in it. All of a sudden things are revealed. The administrator found the lazy fat. Wednesday decisively turned the siege, succeeded in finding out where the Book of Shadows was. After the original Book of Shadows was stolen last month, it was replaced with a replica because Tyler is a native. To be able to figure out the painting, the younger brother of the pilgrim assembly, Wednesday came to the cafe. When the young man who volunteers here met him, some of them are jealous of Taylor. He reminded Wednesday, Tyler's not as harmless as he looks. But Wednesday said the more dangerous he was, the more he liked it. With Taylor's help, he found the meeting place in the painting. In the evening, he went alone to the site of the rally. The environment here is dilapidated. It became a temporary shelter for many homeless people. Seeing the girl coming, he even issued an order to remove the gram. I ended up getting my hands around my neck. Drove him out of the house, the hand struck the ground, sign Wednesday to feel it with his hands, but a girl's superpower, it seemed to happen without warning, you don't just come when you want, you know, to verify this fact, he made a joke about the homeless man's bag, the sword doesn't have anything to go on, does it, the moment he touched the wooden door, the outside world changed in an instant, he traveled back in time, to the 400 year old gathering, countless foreign colonists holding torches, screaming to punish the witch, kill the devil slogan, and right in the middle of the crowd, the blonde girl was pushed around, then the pilgrim Clestone appeared with the scepter, he denounced the girl in front of him as a witch. He's a sinner from hell, the reincarnation of the lover who recorded the trick. Tonight will be the night of eternal hell fire. From what the girl said, the arrival of Clestone, breaking the peace that had existed there, you are the true monster. According to Clestone, the alien should not exist. Open the gate, a room full of people tied up inside. The girl was thrown in, too. The ruthless Clestone turned and left. The order set fire to the straw that surrounded the house, and the only people in the house are the girls, all chained to the ground. Soon there was more smoke and it became harder to breathe. The mother cried, holding her daughter's face and telling him to run. If we can survive, we must have revenge. The girl left her mother with a sorrowful heart, escaped the house through a secret tunnel, but it didn't get very far, and Clystone's in the way again. There will be no escape for you. It's Wednesday waking up, he told Duan Shou. The girl in the fantasy's name is Gully Adams. It's supposed to be my own 400-year-old ancestor. Just when he was ready to leave, there was a strange noise outside. He peered through the fence. I'm looking at the monster that attacked Rowan. Again, this time he did not attack Wednesday. And Wednesday is a good day to miss. He ran after him with his broken hand. Although no monster was found. But I feel his footsteps. From monster footprints to human footprints. Which means that the monster must have evolved from a human being. All the time. There's nothing to fear on Wednesdays. Until I saw Claystone's eyes in my fantasy. For the family. The burden of revenge also fell on him. The old Claystone. Has become a historical celebrity in the construction of the town. The community and the college honor him. A bronze statue was specially prepared. Wednesday, passing by, made his decision. He was playing the cello. Secretly launched a revenge operation. He pushed over a VAT of liquid. Then the burning match gently ejected lit the fire that had been prepared. Moments later there was a powerful explosion. The brand new bronze statue was instantly surrounded by fire. And that's the real music time. Everyone was scared and ran away. Only Wednesday, calmly, played the cello. The principal, who was running away just now, saw this. I knew it was Wednesday again. The mayor was furious when the statue exploded. The headmaster also received numerous anonymous letters. But because there's no evidence, no disciplinary action was taken on Wednesday. Because everything is done by hand. Late into the night, homeless people are back in a dilapidated shelter. He spent his life savings on a camera, but when he couldn't put it down, the mysterious killer attacked him. Luckily, the camera took a few shots. Wait for the police to arrive at the scene. The assistant constable handed the camera to the chief. In the dim photo room, 
a scary monster head. It was perfectly captured on camera. But you don't know who you are. The sheriff thinks monsters are only in schools. But monsters are everywhere. Sometimes, the monster laws we least suspect are the most dangerous. They don't threaten with fangs or claws. Just hiding in the shadows until no one cares. And then launch a surprise attack. College and town. More and more truth is coming to light.